Hello, welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we'll be looking at the um, Maze Game Design and Look Technology Project and we'll be looking at the Maze Game Homework Booklet. So when you receive your homework booklet you should write your name and form on it and if you look here on the front we have a homework checklist. So we have homework 1, homework 2, 3, 4, 5 and these are the different <coughs> excuse me, homeworks that you need to complete and here is a, a date due in. So obviously on here you can complete this yourself. When the work is set each lesson you can write here so you know when to do the homework. Okay, let's look at the homeworks and just go through them now. The first homework is homework one and this is tools for the maze game. It says to complete this sheet fill in the gaps with either drawings or explanations for the use of each piece of equipment. The first two have been done for you. So down here we need to draw images. We can draw images using a pencil or a fine liner pen. So for example it says tenon saw there, tenon saw has been drawn. Obviously what you'd have to do there is write in the explanation. Here as pillar drill, so we need a little picture of a pillar drill and so on. So down here we need the images and here we need the explanations. When writing in design and technology please write in sentences with capital letters and punctuation. So that is homework one, tools for the maze game. Now we're going to look at homework two. Homework two <coughs> is the safety poster. At the top here, as you see, it says, in the space below, create a safety poster for the design and technology workshop. It can be an informative poster about using certain equipment on just, or just focus on a single safety rule. This homework should be completed in colour, using colour pencils or felt pens. If this is not the case, the homework may be returned. So you need to use, <coughs> excuse me, um, pencils, you need to draw in pencil, you might use a fine liner, you could, should use, could use paints or coloured pencils to complete an image here of a safety poster. So you should aim to fill that in there and down the bottom here there's some keywords to help you. So that is homework two, the um, design a safety poster for the DNT workshop. Now we're looking at homework three. Homework three is about plastics. We're going to be using plastics in this project and this sheet is about plastics and where oil comes from. So what you need to do for this homework is you need to watch the YouTube clip, Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology Year 8 Technical Types of Plastic. This clip is in the Google Classroom for you to watch. So you need to watch this clip and then you used to use words and images to create a poster here about how oil is formed. So where oil comes from or how oil is formed. So your poster here you could have lettering that says where oil comes from. You can have some images of um, the various things that are in the YouTube clip. Alternatively you could research it yourself on um, using you know anything you could use Google to research where oil comes from and complete that here. You will need pencils and, and coloured pencils for this or you could use watercolour or other paints. Okay and we've just got some keywords down the bottom here. Remember this needs completed in full colour um, in this area here. So that's homework three plastics where oil comes from. Now we're looking at homework four. Homework four is about plastics and it's about types of plastics. And we've got two boxes here with the words thermoplastics and thermosets. So these are the two categories of plastic and you'll need coloured pencils or a pencil and coloured pencils for this task. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a poster here just outlining these two different types of plastic. You need to add the properties of each type of plastic, images of products made from each type of plastic, some recycling information and perhaps the long chain molecule image. 
Now to do this, you're going to need to watch the YouTube clip in Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology Year 8 Technical Types of Plastic. Use words and images to create the two, complete the two spaces above. Be sure to include the following information. So there's the information there that I just went through. So again, coloured images here, words, images, drawn in here. This needs to be completed. You can use, watch this YouTube clip, which is in the classroom, or you could Google, um, use Google to just Google uh, types of plastic, thermoplastics, types of plastic, thermosets. So that is homework for types of plastics. Okay, we're looking at homework five, types of plastics, thermoplastics versus thermosets. So for this homework, homework five, you need to watch the clip on plastics and complete the grid below. Find the clip that you need is in the Google Classroom. So it's using the same clip. And here we've got th two headings. So we've got a grid here, which is thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. The two types of plastics here and here. Here we need to draw the molecules, there and there. Here we need to write a description and uses. And here we need to make a comment on the recyclability of either the thermoplastics or thermosets. Down here we've got a set of um, keywords which you could use in completing this. We've got crude oil, oil, durable, self-color, thermoplastic, thermosetting. So these words are words that you might use to fill in particularly this one, description uses. So that is homework five um, for the maze game project, which is thermoplastics versus thermosets. And you need to complete that. To complete that, probably using a pen or a fine liner, you might use a pencil to draw the two molecule images. Okay, so that was looking at the homeworks for all five homeworks for the design and technology um, project, the maze game, uh, completed. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.